The growth of U.S. meat exports benefits livestock producers, but also South Dakota soybean farmers. That's why Tim Ostrom participated in a U.S. Meat Export Federation mission to Japan. It's a growing market as Japanese consumers westernize their diet and with the high price of Wagyu beef. Their consumption of fish has been dropping quite a bit and the consumption of beef and pork keeps going up. So I don't see that changing. Japan is already a top customer of U.S. beef and pork, but he says demand will rise with the new U.S.-Japan trade deal. But in the past we've had that tariff issue and and we had to pay a higher tariff to get it in there. And now it, with the agreement we got, now we're on an even basis with everyone else. And the increased meat exports will improve prices for U.S. livestock and soybean producers. Whether we sell them the whole bean, whether we sell them the meal, or we sell them the finished product, it's a win-win for the soybean farmers of South Dakota. This Heartland Consumer Report is sponsored by South Dakota Soybean Farmers in their soybean checkoff.